Hello and welcome to Phil Zone. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be updated when future videos in the series are uploaded. Today we're going to be looking at how to um, animate that clock background that you saw in the intro. And the most difficult thing that you're going to have to do is create the clock. So let's get on with it and let's begin creating a clock. First thing we're going to need is a circle. Shift Option to stretch it out for a perfect circle. Take out the fill, add a line, set it to 80. Change the color to that light brown. Add a drop shadow, a big drop shadow. Just give it a good sh shadow. Then duplicate. Center it up. And we're going to take out the shadow, change the line to that shape, set it to 45 points and change the color. Reduce the opacity and we've created like a little fake wood, polished wood effect. Group them together, then add another circle and center that and stretch that out so that it meets the inside edge. Change the color to yellow and then we're just gonna adjust that color so that it's almost the same as the background color and center it up. Group them all together and now we've got the face almost done. We'll add another little circle and reduce its opacity so I can find the center of the clock. Now we're gonna create a little shape and we're gonna add a line and we're gonna set the line upright. So we'll set the angle to 90 degrees, position it in the center. And then we're going to stretch our line out Add another circle and overlay that. Group them together and you'll see it doesn't rotate properly. That's because the anchor point is set in the middle and not at the end and I can't alter that. Easy fix. We're going to duplicate the group. Then rotate the group 180 degrees. Drag that down so it overlays perfectly on the first one and group the two groups together and now when you rotate it it rotates exactly as we want it to okay so we're going to create a little rounded rectangle we'll shape and size that for our our markers then duplicate the circle we made for the face and send that backwards so what we're going to do is create this little line inside the clock face. So we're going to convert it to a line, take out the fill, and we're just going to drag it inwards. And we'll center that up a little bit until it fits just inside the line. And we'll just adjust that shift option and push it back in to line it up properly. We'll grab our little rectangle and we're just going to duplicate these hour markers for each of the 12 positions. Worried about the angle at this point, just going to put them out where they, where they actually should be on the clock. So we'll do that very quickly until all 12 markers are done. Each of the angles that we're going to need now with our rotating stick is going to be 30 degrees. So the three o'clock position and the nine o'clock position will be 270 degrees. And so we'll adjust each of these little hour markers to 270 degrees and then position them up so that they fit properly inside the clock face. Okay, and then we will rotate our, our measure back to zero and then we'll do 30 degrees and we'll set each of these markers to 30 degrees and position them up around the edge of the clock again 30 degrees and we'll position it so that it lines up around the edge of the clock move forward again 30 degrees to 60 degrees and we'll do exactly the same thing and set these to their correct angle and position within the clock face. Again, we will grab hold of our rotation stick. We've got that one done. And now we're at 120 degrees and we'll line these up. 
each space is 30 degrees. It's very, very simple to do this. And we're just going to line each of these up. The last one will be 150 degrees. And we'll set each one of those markers to 150 degrees and line them up and position it. And that's it. We're done. Our clock face is pretty much done. Take out our measuring stick and we'll just group everything together. At this point, I'm going to create a duplicate of that slide because I got a ton of ideas for different effects. If you want a video on those effects, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, but for now, we're going to be working on the background. So we'll drag our clock into our corner so that only a quarter of the clock is showing and then shift option, drag it out until you've got it um, actually fitting nicely in the um, on the canvas. Okay, so we're going to ungroup everything. I can see a couple of errors and we're going to move that um, yellow face outwards to it matches the outside edge. Bring in our measuring stick and ungroup it and take out the bottom group and then delete. I don't need that anymore. Then I'm going to ungroup and stretch out the line um, so that it, make, it matches the length that I actually want it. Now change the color to red. So now I'm going to group those two items, duplicate as we did before. Only this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after rotating, I'm going to ungroup, grab the stick portion and reduce the opacity. Command click to group them both again and overlay them so that they fit perfectly. Group both groups together and we'll pop that into the middle. And now we've created our second hand and when we rotate it, it's going to rotate perfectly and you can't see the other end um, because we've reduced the opacity. Okay, make a few final adjustments um, to your clock face and these marker points before we're ready to animate. There we go. Animating this is going to be very, very simple. But first we're going to create the hour and minute hands. We're just gonna draw those in, take it to the center of that circle we created and then we're gonna thicken it up a little bit, give it a drop shadow, reduce the offset a little bit, we don't want it that big. And then we're gonna duplicate it and rotate that so that it's the minute hand, which is slightly shorter. And then we'll move that to again to the center of the circle. Then we'll bring in our second hand. Now, the easy bit is going to be animating it. So the first thing we're going to do is add an action effect of rotate. I'm going to set the duration to 0.7 clockwise and an angle of 6. Five sixes are 30. We will set acceleration to none. We'll now set a build out of disappear. Go to build order, number one after transition, number two after build one. Set the delay to 0.3 seconds. The whole thing then takes a second. Duplicate it and then center it so that it matches. Go to build in. We're going to add a build in now up here and we're going to have that with build two. And that's it. We don't have to do anything more to that other than switch the angle six degrees to 354. And we're going to duplicate all the way around to the quarter past just by duplicating now and altering the angle by six degrees so each time we duplicate we're going to move the angle down six degrees this one's three three six the next one will be three three zero so all we're doing is duplicate line it up reduce the angle by six degrees So the only ones that you have to animate are numbers one and two. All the rest are just duplicated. 
We don't need the disappear at the end and we don't need the final rotate. We just want it to appear. So we'll take those out. And if we preview it now, we've got a really nice um, animated clock face. And while I was working on this, I got so many good ideas. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do want a video on some of those ideas I've been working on, then uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if there's enough, I will actually work on that video for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, finish it off. Um, so let's get rid of that uh, build order box. We'll go to shapes, add a circle, position it in the center and just increase the size a little bit. Shift option and pull it out. And then we'll give it a good drop shadow. And we're going to add another circle. I can see there's other problems here, but we're going to add another circle, center it, get rid of the drop shadow. We don't need that. And we're going to then drag this one out until it matches right up against the inside edge of the brown. Change the color to white and reduce the opacity to give it the look of glass. And this will be the glass on the front, cre creating that little blurry glass effect. Okay, there's still a few things that I need to do. So we'll move the glass out of the way and we'll move our center um, circle out of the way and just want to line these up. We'll command click on each one of the second hands that we created. And we're just gonna finish things off here. Command click, command click, command click till we've got them all. Go to arrange, align objects, center, arrange, align objects, middle. And now they're all lined up properly. Preview it and you'll see that everything works absolutely perfectly now because they're all lined up. Okay, so let's um, put our middle dot back in and I'm gonna just do any necessary adjustments to the cloth. This one needs to be pulled out a little bit. And also the black line, I don't like it. I'm gonna thicken the line up a little bit. Let's give it 20 points. And then we're going to just pull it out shift option again to adjust its position to give it a better look then we'll grab our um, glass back the glass circle just pop that in and position it and that's pretty much done and then when we preview that, it looks really nice. It's a really simple but lovely effect. And there are so many different things that you can do with this. Um, and I will do a video to show some of the different things that you can create just with this little animation. Okay, and that's um, pretty much what we're going to do to export it. We'll just export it as a movie leave all the settings as they are except I'm just going to do slide 2 here um, because I don't want the slide 1 to be part of the movie click next and then save it to wherever you will save your projects and then that's it that's the job done and it really is a beautiful little effect once it's saved then everything is done and that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new here, to hit that subscribe button and click the bell if to be updated when future videos are uploaded. And that's it, as I said, for this video. And all that remains to be said now is see you in the next video.